Hi guys. That's right. Hello, 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 and um, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a really good day. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my bedroom. I know it's crazy. I actually decided to go outside, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna touch grass so I can give you all your daily reminder to go outside, breathe some fresh air, because I know some of us love to be in our houses all day and touch some grass. Okay. Like, I'll just put them some B-roll. It's really beautiful outside. So, like, seriously, like, come outside sometimes, y'all. It's actually beautiful. But as I said before, as you can tell, I am not in my bedroom right now. I'm actually at school. Well, yeah, I'm at school. Um, classes are over, but I've had this video that I'm about to share with y'all on my heart for a minute. So, yeah, bear with me, because this is a bit of a video that was hard for me to make, but I knew what I wanted to say. It just took me some time to really vocalize the thoughts that underpin what I'm saying. So, now that that's under the way, I'm sure seeing that I'm recording this video on Valentine's Day, you can guess that we're talking about love or something. You know, the concepts of love, you know? Like maybe you might have, a, you might ask someone, what is love? And they'll say, But we're not talking about that, man. That's just cringe. That that's mushy, bro. That's ugh. honestly, honestly. Okay, okay. That was a joke. I, you know, I think that kind of love, which we'll get into. You know, it's it's nice. It's, it's very kind. I have made a whole video about that before. My last thoughts about that. Oh, uh, you should totally watch it. It's that one video that I always keep going back to when I was sixteen. Ah, uh, that was that was an awesome video. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of going off with the setup. Just trying to. You know, make videos wherever the inspiration strikes. And I'm just yapping at this point. So, let's get down deep into it. Now, I'm sure you've heard about love. In our popular culture, we always talk about love. You know, someone might say, I love you. Or in other languages, it might be te quiero or te amo. Right? And I've always been wondering about what it means to love someone. Right? What is, what is love? Now, I'm not here to get into the whole philosophical argument about what is love and, you know, what what constitutes love, man, because that's a whole thing in and of itself. But I've been thinking about how to love people, how to be kind to them. And, oh, sorry, there's a fly there. I wanted to discuss it. You see, in Greek philosophy, yeah, I took philosophy last semester. It was a really fun class. And we, in that, we learned a lot about love. So as I was saying, in Greek philosophy, there are four different types of love. You have storge, and I'm pretty sure I just completely mispronounced that, but that is the love for you and your family. For example, you know, the love that your mother has. You know, some people say that so-and-so might have a face only a mother can love. And I know it's not the best example, but that's just an example of a mother's love or a father's love. Like the parents, how your parents will always love you and how your family can always be dependent on because they love you. In an ideal situation, your family will always love you. They will always be there for you. Then we have Eros. By Eros, we mean that mushy stuff that has everyone dressing in pink and going and storming Walgreens to buy a bunch of cars and chocolates. <laughs> that kind of love. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I think you all know what I'm trying to say. So we have that kind of love. Then we have Philos or Phila. The love between friends. Maybe friends that are closer to you than brothers. Friends that you know, are closer to you than maybe your family members. Like the kind of friend you have where you have a homie, like a really good friend. That's the love between your friends where, you know, a friend will be willing to do a lot of things for you, will be willing to call you out sometimes because they love and they care about you and they cherish you and they want the best for you, right? And then we have agape love, unconditional love. A selfless kind of love. A love where you're willing to put the other person's needs above your own. That kind of love can be compared to, say, the love of Jesus Christ. Yeah, the love of God. As the Bible says, and I'll put up the scripture here, God himself is love. So, of course, it would make sense that that kind of unconditional love would be agape love, right? So, for this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about agape love like unconditional love but everything i'm everything i hope to convey every message i hope to convey hopefully will be applicable to all these types of loves and the reason i talk about this is because for being honest guys 
it's dwindling. Okay? <clears throat> I'll put a little antidote here. You know how in YouTube comments nowadays, when people talk about time before the whatever happened, when that one dude ate the bat, <clears throat> time was different. People were different. I don't mean to put on my rose-colored glasses of nostalgia, but I think that's true in a sense where now we live in a society that's especially in the good old USA where everything is polarized. And I mean everything. Our politics are polarized. Our opinions are polarized. The way we live our lives are polarized. I mean... You could even, I mean, this day and age, you could literally start being with someone for supporting Taylor Swift. Like, there are people who will switch on you if you support Taylor Swift. And there are people who will switch on you if you don't support Taylor Swift, right? The point is, things are polarized now. We live in a very tense moment in history, right? A very tense moment in history where there's a lot of issues confronting our world. There's a lot of wars. There's a lot of rumors. Of course, there's just a lot of chaos going on right now, right? Let's be completely honest here. As beautiful as everything we see is here, all the flowers, all the trees and whatnot, we see that there's a lot of chaotic things going on right now. And honestly, I think because of that, you know, <clears throat> people are having to be fake. Let me explain, right? People are having to change themselves to fit into certain molds just so that they can be accepted, so that they can be loved, right? I don't think that's right. I think that is something that shouldn't be done. I don't think you should have to do that. Anyway, so my point is that there are people who are fake, who are not real with themselves, who might put on certain acts to be loved and to be cared about, right? And then we have people who pretend to care pretend to love pretend to cherish others but when you look down deep into their wills into their motives you find that they're fake you know we always talk about fake friends and how it's bad to have a friend that's fake it's bad to have someone who doesn't really care about you but they make it look like they do right you know you could say that some of these people out here are fake when we have a lot of people in our society not even just people who are fake in the you know metaphorical sense but in the quite literal sense i, I won't name names because i'm not very petty but <laughs> sorry instagram models <laughs> sorry sorry my bad my bad um sorry i just had a little sorry just, it was a little cold outside right because there are so many fake people there are also a lot of hurt people a lot of people who are hurting who might be damaged who might be traumatized right and as the saying goes, hurt people hurt people. And if I had a dime for how many times I've seen on the internet, you know, just doom scrolling YouTube shorts, which I just only top, I know, I know. Call me crazy, I know, whatever. If I had a dime for every time I've seen hurt people calling out each other, hurt people creating more cycles of hurt, make from an area of not being loved, of being hurt themselves, I would be a millionaire. Which is quite funny till you realize that I'd be a millionaire because there are many people who are hurting, who have been hurt, who are hurting other people, guys. You know what I mean? We live in a society where it's all about you. It's all about what you want. It's all about what you desire. It's not about focusing on other people. It's not about caring about other people. And as a result, if somebody hurts you, we see even in certain communities that I won't mention because I'm not petty. <laughs> bruh, 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 bruh. Um, yeah, like, you know, in certain communities, <clears throat> feminism. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama. Sorry, sorry, man, man. <laughs> Man, I'm just playing with fire at this point, aren't I? <clears throat> and I could totally make a video about that, by the way. Um, if this video gets 20 likes, I will make a video about the red pill and feminism and my honest thoughts on that. But only if this video gets 20 likes. I'm not going to lie because that right there is a whole rabbit hole. Anyways, as I was saying, there are people who hurt each other, who don't love each other. And I'm going to get to what the Bible says love is. All right, but rock with me for a second. There are people who hurt each other, who don't love each other, who 
abuse each other you know what i mean and I, i've seen that play out many times with many examples you know what i mean and for someone like me like the way i see the world or like the way that god has shaped me to see the world it breaks my heart sometimes to really see people putting each other down people putting each other down in terms of race in terms of where they're from in terms of what they've been through and where they're going now i mean we've seen people being hurt in places where you would expect them to be loved and cherished to be redeemed and restored and like that in itself is a whole nother discussion which i am not qualified to have and i admit that to you right now my friend i'm not qualified to have that discussion <laughs> but in these places where people are expected to be helped and guided they're not guided they're not helped at all they're hurt honestly it breaks my heart because i know that everyone is human everyone feels pain everyone feels pain differently so to see people who are hurting hurting each other it just breaks my heart man and i really do wish that there could be more kindness there could be more love there could be more joy and there could be more peace as i said in my last video i'm not trying to spread some arbitrary message of kindness you know but i really do want to you know talk about how we can be more kind to each other so with that being said the question then becomes what can you do about that i mean what can any of us do about that and i think for me personally as a believer in christ the first thing that i have to do is go on my phone and turn on that bible app bro that you version bible app bro and flip my bible app to first corinthians 13 and read verses 4 to 7 because this is what god says love is this is i mean i could give you a whole bible study on this even but the point is this scripture in general is just the apostle paul talking to the corinthians in the previous chapter he talked to them about the spiritual gifts but he wanted them to know that if they didn't have love with these spiritual gifts it meant nothing if you didn't have love it meant nothing so i'm going to read to you uh first corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7 and it says this i'm reading the kjv verse so version so if you see me saying charity just know that i mean love okay charity suffereth long and is kind charity envieth none charity vaunted not itself is not puffed up doth not behave wow behave itself unseemly seeketh not her own is not easily provoked thinketh no evil rejoiceth not in iniquity but rejoiceth in the truth beareth all things be believeth all things hopeth all things endureth all things and i'll read verse 8 is well charity never fails faileth my bad but whether there be prophecies they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease whether thou sh there be knowledge it shall vanish away all right love never fails you know as i said earlier god is love so with that being said how do we show love and i want to say this okay before i even get into that i just remembered that with those four different kinds of love agape philos eros and sorge there's ways that these loves can be misappropriated you know like for example maybe your family doesn't treat you the way that you should be treated maybe the person that you love in that mushy sense doesn't treat you the way they should be and maybe even do things to you or they may hurt you in ways that cut into your soul maybe your friends the people you trust break your trust break break things i i don't know how to, i don't know how to say this but they hurt you in a way that they hurt you in a way that you can't really put into words or maybe the people you expected to always be by your side always be willing to help you just duck and bail out on you and i know we live in a society where people are willing to do that there's a lot of flakers in this society man there really are a lot of flakers so the question now i present to us is what can you and i do by the way hey hope you're having a good day man but yeah what can you and i do about that and first of all we need to show love to each other i need to show love to the people i'm around the people i talk to and so do you 
we need to be kind and compassionate and be caring to be attentive you know i'll be honest in my own personal experience that sometimes i've felt the need to be very compassionate and attentive to people because at times i've known what it's like to feel like that's not being done for me you know like when i'm at school sometimes you know i just sometimes i know what it's like to not feel like people are caring for you and i know that in today's society there's a lot of people who suffer in silence you know i could get into the stats especially for you know the boys men that there are a lot of guys who suffer with their mental health issues in silence a lot of guys who don't know how to come out and talk about the things that they go through because maybe maybe they may not receive the help that they need you understand what i mean there's people in our society who don't always feel comfortable and feel ready to just share that part of themselves because they don't feel like they're going to receive love and that's a crying shame so i would say that what we can do about love is to be kind to treat people the way we want to be treated right like come on now you don't want someone to treat you like you're worthless right but at the same time we tend to treat each other like we're worthless and we're not i mean the mere fact that you were born i mean i think it's like a one in 400 trillion chance or something well actually it's one in 400 quadrillion you are a very unique individual whether or not you can see that you understand so you need to show kindness what does it mean to be kind according to wikipedia kindness is a type of behavior marked by generosity consideration rendering assistance or concern for others without expecting the praise and or reward in return in today's society we need that we need people who are willing to be kind because you never know what someone's going through and i know we say that's oh that's so cliched oh you but it's so true you never know that maybe your random act of kindness you know you just doing something kind for someone out of your heart could be a blessing to them you never know because like i said there's a lot of like i said before there's a lot of people who suffer in silence who have things going on and they don't and, and people don't go out of their way to show kindness to them so for you to show kindness to them that is such a blessing we also need to be compassionate to each other you know because at the end of the day no one's perfect right we all make mistakes and i know that the temptation is for us to just you know get super angry just get in our feelings you know i've done that <laughs> i've done that a couple times um, it's never worth it it's never worth moving in that it's never worth it's never worth moving in anger unjustified anger it's never worth that it's never worth that that you just cause yourself and that person more pain. Instead, we need to be compassionate to each other. To understand that people do fail, people do sin, and people do mess up, but we need to forgive those who sin against us. We need to be kind to those who may slip up. We need to be compassionate because like I said, you never know why someone did something. You never know why. And I know in a, we're in a society where we're so quick to judge unrighteously i'm not saying we should never judge sometimes you need to judge you need to make judgments but sometimes we do make unrighteous judgment instead of trying to be compassionate you know i think of even the story of jesus at, with the woman caught in adultery you know we saw all those guys who caught her lacking and i'll put up the scripture because it's a really powerful story i suggest you all read that at some point um we talk about those guys who caught her lacking you know who caught her in adultery and they asked jesus like yo what are you gonna do with her she's in adultery she's not moving she did something that's against the mosaic law and like i said i'm not trying to turn this completely into a bible study but for those of you who don't know adultery is not good like you could get stoned for that right but you know what jesus did instead of judging her unrighteously he said he who's without sin cast the first stone and as he said that, after he wrote in the sin, he said, he who's without sin cast the first stone. And as he said that, all of these guys who were ready to stone her and kill her, they left. They left. And you know what Jesus did after they left? He came up to that woman and he said, go. He said, you wrote, let me, let me actually find the scripture. I want to make sure I'm getting this right. John 8 verse 10, after he said, he was out the sin cast the first stone. And when Jesus had lifted himself 
had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are, thou, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No, man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. And we see through that example of Jesus Christ. He was compassionate and he commanded, he forgave her and he co commanded her to go sin no more. My friends, even for those of us who may not believe in God, we need to be compassionate. We need to have extend grace. And especially if you're a Christian, like if you're a Christian, and you're watching this video, bro. Like you got to extend that same grace God extended to you, bro. Like if we're being completely honest, bro, like you got to get on that, right? But in general, we need to do that, you know? And look, the world may not just suddenly become a better place. No, not everyone's going to start singing Kumbaya. You know, that'd be a pretty funny side, I can't lie. Um, nah, that's, that, that may not happen, but if you're able to show love and kindness and compassion to people, a love that is so much deeper than just, I love you. <laughs> and, you know, what she gives and whatnot, but if you're really able to just show people how much you care and love them, even people you may not know, even people you may not agree with, you're changing their lives, you know? There's so many acts of kindness, so many moments that even I can look back at my life and say, you know, I'm so glad someone so did that. They don't know how much it meant for me that they were that they did that. You know what I mean? And the, the way we're doing that, we're able to serve each other. You know, it's not it's time to stop just thinking about me, 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 me. Cause you know, there's eight billion people in this world, bro. Like, come on, man. There's over eight billion. I think it's like 8.1 billion people in this world, bro. It's 2024. There's so many people, so many people who are born into this world where there's a lot of crazy stuff going on who need to, to be loved, who need to be cared for, who need to be, who need to know that they have people who care for them. And I encourage us all to care for each other, to love each other, to fight for each other, you know? Like this world that we live in is such a big world and the more that we care for each other the more that we care for each other the more we're able to uplift each other you know so i just encourage you you know when we think about valentine's day don't just think about the um romantic love although you should totally think about it, i think it's a pretty important aspect but think about how we can extend love and grace and mercy and compassion to everyone we see you know what i mean and with that you know i just want you to know that I love y'all guys. Um, I really appreciate you watching this video if you made it to the end. Um, if you made it to the end, I don't normally do this because I think it's cringe, but <clears throat> if you made it to the end, comment Bing Bong, okay? And like I said, 20 likes and I'll make a video about my honest thoughts on the red pill. But um, yeah, I love you guys so much. And I thank you for watching this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. And oh wait, before I go, I gotta do one thing. To all y'all who don't go outside, this is your reminder to touch grass. Watch. Watch. It wasn't even that hard, bro. Alright, see y'all.